Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We've just gotten reset by Caller, who fixed our augmentation system being messed up, and also discovered the existence of all these experimental augs. So we've got a lot of Praxis now. I think I had two before, and I think Caller must have given me nine more since I'm up to eleven. So it looks like a lot, but it's not quite as much as you might think, because I actually realize that I'm, I'm missing a lot of things that I had before. I'm not sure if this happened during the reset that Caller did with me, or just when my augs were malfunctioning or something. But there's quite a few basic things that I was using in the kind of opening tutorial section at Rabia, and I don't have them anymore, so some of these are going to be spent on just getting back the abilities I've lost. For example, we don't have Icarus Landing anymore. Which, among other things, it allows you to basically land from any height and not take any damage. That could definitely be very, very useful. Getting to some special areas that you otherwise can't get to. So that's kind of like a must get, I feel like. So let's grab that. Um, oh yeah, and I was looking at the hacking stuff. It's interesting the way it's laid out. So there's actually three different hacking related augs. There's hacking capture, hacking fortify, and hacking stealth. So hacking fortify just makes it so that your fortifying things, uh, I believe, are stronger. So you can resist the, uh, the, the firewall more. Hacking Stealth does probably what you think it would do. It makes it less likely to be detected every time you capture a node. And Hacking Capture, I think, just allows you to hack things that are stronger. So the interesting thing about that is that if you just get Hacking Capture, I'm pretty sure you're going to be at a severe disadvantage and you'll probably find yourself not being able to hack anything. Because the harder they are, I'm sure they're going to be harder to actually capture. So if you do this, you can you can start trying to hack something that's harder, but you won't actually have any better abilities at all, unless you get better fort fortify and better stealth. So I'm pretty sure just getting hacking capture itself wouldn't be worth all that much. So let's go ahead and get maybe one of each. Thankfully it's just one Praxis for each of these levels, so let's get hacking capture level 2. And... Should I go with Fortify? I do already have one point in Fortify. Maybe I should... I'm just going to get one point in Hacking Stealth. So I'll skimp a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, and the LiDAR Mark Tracker thing that I was using before, that also is not here anymore. Which, actually, now that I think about it, when I was coming into the bookstore where Caller is, I remember noticing that the LiDAR wasn't working, so that must not have been caused by the reset. I think it's just we somehow lost it when our augments glitched. So we definitely want that. Oh, the different levels of it allow you to track more or less targets. So at level 1 it's 10 targets, and then 25, and then 40. Okay, well I think 10 is a pretty good amount, that shouldn't be a big deal. So I definitely want that. Okay, here's one that confuses me though. Apparently I don't have smart vision anymore. I definitely had that just a little bit ago. So I don't know what's up with that, but I absolutely want that. And then I think the further... I think the further upgrades for it. Right, so this one reduces the energy consumption, and... Uh, this one allows it, makes it so that you can see useful objects, like items that you can pick up. So that, that would both be very helpful, actually. Ah, but I've only got four Praxis left. Then again, Smart Vision is something that I use, like, all the time. So... Yeah, I'll get at least one level of that. Let me see if there's anything else that's absolutely vital. Oh god, there's so many things that feel like must-haves, and I can't have them all. So, for example, I seem to be missing my cybernetic leg prostheses which are what not only allow me to run silently, which I haven't really used very much, if at all. I don't think I've used it at all so far. But, uh, it also allows me to jump to extraordinary heights. That's really important. For someone who's stealth, I need to be able to get around. I need to be able to fall down great heights, jump up great heights, and etc, etc, see through walls, things like that, so I absolutely need this. Yeah, it looks like the lake silencers are a little bit of an extra thing for one Praxis. I'm okay without getting those, though. I don't think that's super important. But yeah, I'm missing the cloak. 
Um, I don't have... What was it? There was something else kind of basic. Oh, the rebreather. Yeah, so I keep showing... I keep coming up to areas that have... That noxious gas. And, uh, well, I need this thing to be able to breathe it. But it takes two praxis, which I don't have. So I could either save my one praxis or spend it. I kind of want to spend it. I think I want to spend it. One thing that I uh, looks super cool, by the way, but it's going to have to take a backseat to these more basic things, is the Quicksilver Reflex Booster. So that allows you to do a takedown of multiple enemies at the same time, if they're close together. Only up to two, but that could be super helpful. Because I can imagine there's been a lot of situations, and I will probably encounter a lot more situations, where there's a couple people clustered together and I can't safely do a takedown on one of them without the other one noticing. So this, this could be super good. It's two praxes to get it. But uh, yeah, for the meantime, I've been using Smart Vision a lot, and it tends to run out super quickly. So uh, I'm going to get this. It's going to make it take low energy, so by default its energy consumption is high. This upgrade made it medium, and this one will make it low. I also kind of want to get Magpie, which highlights items that I can pick up. But eh, I'll get that later. Okay. So, uh, better assign them, huh? Oh. Right, I guess Smart Vision is the only one I actually have to assign, huh? That's sad. Yes, I know how to use the augmentation wheel. It's weird, they told me how to do that in the opening. So let's see the power consumption. Yeah, even with a low power consumption, like... Takes up power pretty fast. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Look at that. The power's going back up. I thought the power only went up to the point where it hit that large section in the bottom left, that thicker portion. But it looks like that's not the case. So what makes that white line, which is, I guess, where it regenerates to, what makes that go down? Is it when you just use up, like, a lot of energy? Maybe more than half of it? Or maybe it's like once you hit the thick line, it starts to use up and start to move the white line down. Let's see. Let's see if it starts to move down when it hits the thick part. No? Huh. I'm not sure what it is then. Okay, let's actually use it all up and see if that affects it. No, that didn't affect it. Interesting. Maybe it's only certain abilities. Maybe just smart vision won't hurt it. That is a really disturbing sight. <laughs> Pools of blood. There's blood on the chair. There's blood over there. There's blood everywhere. So many things. I feel like I feel like I should just look for things to pick up. Aha. Oh, another thing I want, by the way, is oh. Oh, that's a new thing. Multi-tool. Um, another thing I want is the strength upgrade. I'm going to avoid most of the combat-related things, but the strength upgrade allows you to carry more. And inventory space is something I could always use more of. Multi-tools can hack devices of any security rating. Aim at a hackable device and hold left mouse button until completion. They're discarded after use. Okay. Any security rating. Nice. Go ahead and sign that. Yeah, I think I'm like almost 100% full on my inventory space. I should really toss out the ammo, I think. I'm not going to keep the ammo for lethal weapons. <laughs> I can play the guitar, sort of. Make some really weird noises, though. Sounds like the strings are broken or something. Dude, did you seriously just put, like, eat a couple bites out of a hamburger and just put it on a stool? Not even on a plate or anything? What in the hell is wrong with you? That's disgusting. Wait, that's your toilet? Your burger's on a stool right next to your toilet. Ugh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Inventory's full. That's a hypo stim, though. I need that. Okay. Just dropped a bunch of alcohol. World's most wanted. The Diwali family. China's gang problem still holds second place to the criminal activity raging in the Slavic regions. Worse, the lines defining the Russian underworld have blurred since the formation of the Federated States in 2016. With many of their desperate neighbors swelling the Russian mafia to levels never seen before. But for the latest and largest waves in the criminal underworld, you need to head further west to the restless Czech Republic to run into the gang in our top spot for the deserved reputation of world's most wanted, the Diwali family. In 2003, Levin Diwali, son of founding father and brutal crime lord, uh, Yakob, left his hometown of Batami, Georgia, and set up criminal shop in Prague. The Diwali have been in violent control of the European underworld ever since. With the rule of blood that members can only be of direct Georgian descent, Levin Diwali has continued his father's brutal legacy by expanding their ruthless, ruthless criminal family and redefining what it means to be a gang in the 21st century. Gonna be dealing with them soon enough. Ooh. Oh my god, they have so many screens. Wow. Oh, I think that's a security cam there. The center one. Hard to tell, but I think... Oh, yeah. Definitely. What's that a security cam of? Looks like an underground tunnel. Oh, cool. Just unlocked. Uh, house call. I've been experiencing some strange symptoms since my last visit with you. This is unacceptable. You will do something about this, yes? Oh, other people, I guess, going to them with their own augmentation problems. Uh, let's see. From High Octane to Montana Jones, regarding latest delivery. Uh, shit, Monty, what are you trying to do to me here? Shut me down? Invade my sleep? Give me even more nightmares? To those new augs you dropped off. They still had organics attached. Now, you know I never ask questions. Questions are scary. Questions are bad, but when I see pieces of tissue clinging to a P-Dot array, the question I don't ask... The questions I don't ask start invading my eyeballs. I'm not a fucking harvester, man. I know, I know, I didn't know what else to do with the machinery. Poor fuckers were killed by the cops, and I didn't want the stuff to end up in some evidence locker or whatever. This is what they would have wanted, V. At least this way it goes to help our people in some way, right? Christ. Otar B. at The Family. <laughs> the Grime Family. Mr. Kohler, recently you ordered some equipment through us. Very special medical equipment. From China. Normally I do not ask our clients why they want the things they ask us to get for them. I simply negotiate terms and move on. The terms you negotiated, however, were not done through me. And for that reason, they remain unclear. I do not like business that isn't clear. So before I hand over your merchandise, you and I will need to talk. Come to the casino, or I will send my men to escort you here. Right, that was the number two that caller told us about, right? I think through here was the chamber full of gas that I can't... Yeah, I can't go into there because I don't have the rebreather. Okay. Well, our immediate main goal is to head back to our apartment and speak with our father. Uh, Seraph? Yeah, David. Uh, David Seraph, I think their name was. Speak to them about the fact that I have experimental augs that I didn't know about until now. See if they know anything about that. Although Color made it sound like they probably won't. That it looked like they had been installed more recently. And that they weren't the Seraph Industry Augs like all my other things are. Ooh. Didn't know I needed that for that that distance, but thank you for saving me. Jensen, 
It's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. <laughs> They've been wanting me to come in for like five hours. It's gonna be a week from now before I come in for the first time. Okay, well I can't go out this way easily anyway. Be Wait. Are the gang members gone from here too? Oh, this isn't a restricted zone anymore, is it? Oh no, I'm totally free. What's this picture icon mean? Take a look at the legend. Landmark. What's the landmark? Just the, the whole building? I guess it probably is. Yeah, let's head back to our apartment right now. There's like a million things I want to look at. Oh, there's even, by the way, there's even an upgrade to make the minimap in the top right hand corner of the screen. Uh, more zoomed out to make it bigger. I so want that because I have to pretty much open up the map to see where I am because the minimap is so tiny. Is really? No. No, don't don't do side quests, not yet. Not yet, I can do that later. If you've got the credit, I'm here. Hurts, you'll be fine. Oh my. You won't find better anywhere. Dang, I can't steal people's mail. Can I hack these now? It's level two. Ooh. I have like no inventory space though. Let's let's do that later. Actually, let me go sell my stuff real quick. Wow, I thought I had a lot of money. Five thousand four hundred and thirty-two. Feels like a lot, but it really isn't. Just a single Praxis kit costs 10,000. Whew. Oh, you know what? Oh, I just realized something. There was... Yeah, there was something I was going to spend Praxis points on that I forgot to. Oh, well, there's a lot of things I need to spend Praxis points on. It's fine. There was something for being able to kind of, like, detect someone's current mental state and sort of give you more information about their mental state so you can manipulate them in conversations. Which is definitely something I really want. Well, painkillers are super cheap. Uh, anyway, I did notice... It looks like there's weapon mods. I didn't know that was a thing, but... There's a laser targeting system and a 4 times scope. I could definitely use both of those for my Trank Gun. So let's grab them. Since they work with most weapons, so hopefully they'll work with the Trank Gun. And... Is there anything else I want? I don't need ammo. I could use some bio cells. I don't think I have any, or maybe I have like one. Yes, good choice. I'm good for now. I still have more. Okay, cool. So as long as you buy something from them, they don't yell at you. Let's see. Okay, oh, I've actually got four bio cells now and one hypostim injector. Probably should have bought more hypostims. But then again, I'll use the bio cells more. What if there's like an auto sort button for your inventory? Eh, oh well. Let's see if we can install these mods. Combine? Aha! Okay, I think that did it. Does it actually tell you that you have it on anywhere? Laser on off. Oh, there we go. Change out the ammo type. Only one type right now. Oh, interesting. 
So... It actually affects... Wait, what? It affects the accuracy. Oh, I see that. The blue bar, the plus 10, that's saying it's going to be plus 10 when I turn it on. Okay, for a second I thought having the laser sight on was actually reducing my accuracy. No, it actually makes it better. So it's not just for my own benefit, like just for being able to see where I'm aiming better. It actually does change your stats. And oh, you can actually directly increase the ammo capacity without a mod or anything, just with spare parts. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure what the time scope it has on right now, but I'm assuming it's less than four. Never mind. I guess we're good. Biocells, painkillers, right over there. Yeah, so it looks like you don't see the laser sight when you're scoped in, but that's fine. You really don't need it when you're scoped in. It's good for when you're firing from the hip, though. Did I leave the fucking door open? <laughs> I left the door open. Oh my god. Anybody home? Anybody sneak in while I was out? Alright, we're good. I wonder if we get more emails, just like, over time, you know? Anything new? Hmm. Nope. Alright, David Seraph. Adam, what's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were, uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy. They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead. Why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. 
I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. So, what do I have for a main quest? I guess that was technically a side quest, looks like. Oh, right. Head into, uh... The mission reef with TF-29. Have to travel to that place. I cannot possibly pronounce that. Speaking of, where exactly is that? Let's close the door this time. Also, why does it say keypad unlocked? Eh, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Don't mind me. <laughs> so yeah, where is that place? No, it's all grayed out. I guess you could like head out here to see it. There we go. Ah, there it is. I don't know what this huge like gray bar is exactly. It's just this place, I guess. Underpath. I don't know. Anyway, let's go try to hack these things over here. Now that I've got the inventory space. Okay. Oh right, I've got the stealth software too. Uh, what exactly does that do? It prevents detection. Use it to capture a fortifier blaze through a firewall unnoticed. Huh. I mean, is it like... Does it make it so I basically have a 100% chance of getting it then? Like, literally prevents any detection for the entire hacking attempt? If so, that's incredibly powerful. Anyway. So I've got these two green ones to get... Gotta pay attention to the directionality of the nodes, of the graph. So here, here. If it gets to me, it's gonna get to me through... Ooh, it's actually got a super long way to travel. It's gotta go here, here, here. Oh, these are... These are level zero nodes, though. They're probably gonna be super fast, right? They also have zero capture detection chance. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see if we can get this. Yeah, so these have a zero capture detection chance, so I might as well just capture them all to block the way and fortify. That one does have a capture detection chance. But yeah, with this we should be pretty much guaranteed, I think, to be fine. It's got to get through so much. Yeah, we got 20 seconds. <laughs> that was the easiest one ever. Rise up. You will soon have your god and you will make it with your own hands. Ooh, hacking software. Stealth and reveal. Processor chip. More hacking software, wow. Oh my god, even more. And a multi tool. This place is a treasure trove. Let's see how easy this one is. Ah, uh, okay, so let's do a reveal. So it's gonna come from here, here, here. Shall I go the same way? I guess I should go the same way, huh? I'll go this way to capture the green. Four. Uh, then again, that's actually slower. But I can fortify along the way, it's fine. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Oh, this is not gonna work. That was a waste! I don't even know what that did. 
I just used overclock. I don't know what that even did. Okay, we got it this time. Anomaly access granted. Forty crafting parts. In a pocket secretary. Requested supplies. Eugene, here's what I could get for you. Various medical supplies as requested. Inventory list is in the container. Includes viral type biomaterial from our BSL-2 stock, so take standard precautions when handling it. Note, I wasn't comfortable requiring the chemical reagents you suggested on the list, so you'll have to improvise with whatever you have, sorry. There wasn't technically any spare, and I'm walking a fine line as it is. You'll have to let me know how the tests come out. Keep me informed and good luck. That sounds extremely sketchy. Reagent? Biomaterial? Try to make some sort of bioweapon or something? Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think I'm going to probably still not head to TF-29 and instead explore this huge city. <laughs>